and welcome. I'm Gargi Rawat and you're watching me on youtube.com slash NDTV. That's the site to go to for all the videos, all the news from the NDT, from the NDTV channel. And let's just take a look at the top five stories uh, that we had today. And we've asked you, you know, to choose which stories are the ones that you want to know more about. So the top five stories today, of course, Maharashtra, now that Maharashtra mess, maneuvers, call it what you will. But uh, the Maharashtra situation, of course, everybody very interested in a uh, power play for Maharashtra government information, NCP to Shiv Sena, snap all ties with the NDA, unsafe at work, women Dr. Rafta, goodbye TN session, iconic ex-poll panel chief, uh, he passed away yesterday at the age of 86 and he of course was a total icon and uh, Deepak Chahar stars in win against Bangladesh. Well, most of you of course want to know more about the Maharashtra situation which is completely uh, fluid right now. Now the latest that I can tell you is that Uddhav Thakre and Sharad Pawar have met amidst this these moves to form a government using the most unlikely combination as they say uh, politics makes for strange bedfellows so we possibly are going to see a shift Sena led government with the NCP and uh, Congress support from the outside. Now, the Congress is still not very sure what it wants to do, though uh, some MLAs of the Congress are pushing to support the Shiv Sena just so that they can keep the BJP out. Now, what happened was the governor first invited the BJP uh, to show, uh, you know, whether it could form government and uh, whether it had the numbers. The BJP then declined. Then yesterday evening, the governor invited the Shiv Sena to uh, show if they could form government in the state. And since then, Today evening is when the Shiv Sena has to tell, uh, respond to the governor to say whether they do have the numbers and they are so inclined as to form the state government. Now, they had, the Shiv Sena, remember, has uh, broken off with the BJP over the issue of 50-50 power sharing. Now, Shiv Sena claimed that it had been decided in February. There was a meeting with Amit Shah where it had been decided there would be a 50-50 power share should the uh, partners come back to power. Remember, they went into the elections as alliance partners and they got the majority However, the Shiv Sena said that the 50-50 sharing included chief ministership. They wanted a rotating chief minister, uh, a Shiv Sena chief minister for two and a half years. Now, the BJP just refused. First, you had Devinder Fadnavis, uh, the former chief minister, saying that, you know, this is something totally out of the question. And he is going to be the chief minister for the next five years. The Shiv Sena, of course, very, very angry over this. And we mainly heard from Sanjay Raut, who has been, you know, really the man uh, during this entire uh, situation, who's been the voice of the Thakres and the Shiv Sena and telling us uh, what the Shiv Sena is feeling. And I have to admit, for the longest time, we all thought it was just posturing and, you know, they'll come together eventually, which, of course, they still could. You never know anything could happen in politics. But uh, the Shiv Sena remained uh, quite, uh, you know, uh, firm on this 50-50 and they said they would not back down. Then you had the situation when we saw Devinder Fadnavis actually going into the governor, submitting his resignation and then attending a press conference in which... He more or less said, he said that uh, Udav Thakre was lying, that we never made the, any sort of, you know, commitment of 50-50 sharing. After that, you had an Udav Thakre press conference in which he hit out at being called a liar and said this is the first time I've been called a liar and we had this agreement and now they're backtracking on this agreement that we had. And all this while, you also had meetings happening between Sanjay Raut and Sharad Pawar, who's really emerged as the man of the moment, somebody who'd been written off before this election. There were all kinds of rumors and uh, the, the Shiv Sena, BJP all spoke about how he's an old man what's he going to do you know but he really fronted this election for the ncp he went he attended rallies he he uh, you know that visual of him uh, leading a rally or speaking uh, out at the to the public doing a rally with the rain pouring down on him you know that went viral so he really showed a lot of energy and he's showing the same kind of energy when it comes to this government formation so what happened this morning? Uh, this morning, you had the only uh, minister in uh, the, the Narendra Modi government, Arvind Sawant, sending in his resignation. He uh, tweeted that, uh, you know, we cannot live with this lie and Sena's on the side of the truth. Uh, why stay in the government in Delhi in such a false environment? So, Arvind Sawant submitted his resignation a short while ago. He addressed the press in which he showed his resignation letter as well. Now, this was a condition that the NCP had put on the Shiv Sena so that they can really put their money where their mouth is and prove that, yes, they are are indeed, uh, you know, committed uh, to 
divorcing from the BJP and it's only then that the NCP could have some sort of confidence in the future uh, with them. And remember, it's a 30-year-old alliance between the BJP and Shiv Sena, but uh, one that does seem for the moment that it's ended. But of course, uh, you know, never know what could happen. Now, the Congress uh, has has held a meeting of the, uh, the top decision-making body, the CWC held a meeting. And uh, after that, uh, they did not emerge with any decision, uh, of course, how like the Congress. And they said that they've decided to leave it to Sonia Gandhi, that uh, the interim president, she's going to decide on whether the Congress is going to do the unthinkable and, uh, you know, uh, support a Shiv Sena-led government. Now, Sonia Gandhi uh, has said that she is hasn't said, but we've heard from other leaders that she is going to, in fact, at four o'clock, speak to leaders from Maharashtra, party leaders from Maharashtra, and then decide the way forward. So, Yes, it's a tricky situation for the Congress, but as we said, many of the Congress MLAs are quite keen on doing this just so that they can keep the BJP out of government. Congress MLAs, around 40 of them are actually staying in Jaipur right now where they were moved on Friday. Uh, this, of course, is the resort politics, which is all very famous in Indian politics where the parties try to protect their MLAs from poaching and horse trading. So Congress MLAs are currently uh, in uh, Jaipur. And uh, so 4 o'clock, I think, is when we'll really know what's happening. Uh, uh, also, what, what just happened was a meeting between Uddhav Thakre and Sharad Pavar. Uh, we, uh, our reporter, Saurav Gupta, was outside Matoshi, which is the Thakre resident. And he said, Sharad, uh, he said that Uddhav Thakre has left a short while ago. Uh, this was uh, just around 1 o'clock. And uh, we're hearing it's for a meeting with Sharad Pavar. And then uh, we've heard that that meeting is now over. So uh, we don't know what transpired. The NCP also held a meeting earlier today after which they emerged and they said they will only take a final decision after the Congress takes its decision saying that, you know, because we are, we were alliance partners before uh, the elections, therefore we will, uh, you know, uh, make a joint decision. So we're waiting for the Congress final decision which will, which will only happen at four o'clock. So yes, very, very interesting developments and uh, frankly unthinkable developments uh, uh, taking place in Maharashtra where we may actually uh, see a government uh, being formed uh, with the Congress supporting a Shiv Sena government. Meanwhile, the man who's most unhappy is Sanjay Nirupam, who used to be with the Shiv Sena and now he's with the Congress and he's saying that, you know, this will be a very uh, unstable uh, government, it will be a disastrous move. And of course, so he has been speaking out against uh, this uh, government uh, possibility of uh, Congress uh, backing uh, the Shiv Sena government. And um, the Congress, however, uh, you know, may uh, come around to the idea of, uh, you know, supporting this government from outside. So that is the big political story of the hour. So four o'clock, I think, is after which we'll have some clarity, though there are some reports that Uddhav Thakre is going to go and meet the governor, but he will have to have those letters of support. There's also talk that uh, the Congress MLAs, uh, you know, they may say, you go ahead and form the government and we'll support you, we'll not vote against you, that they would give them support in the house. Uh, so anything can happen. We really don't know. The other big developing story, now this wasn't the story in the morning, uh, but what is developing is the JNU students protesting on the streets of Delhi. So you've had hundreds of uh, JNU students, the JNU Students Union calling for this protest against a fee hike, a hostel fee hike. And they're extremely angry because the fees are going up from some 2,500 a month to uh, 7,000. And they say this, this, they were not consulted, that, uh, you know, uh, the administration is not speaking to the students. They want to meet uh, the vice chancellor, who is apparently uh, turned down repeated requests uh, by the students' union to meet. And uh, they're saying this will obviously uh, go against uh, the poor, the tribal, village uh, students who come, who cannot afford to pay such high fees from uh, 2000. It might not sound like too much, but remember, for a poor student, it's a big, big jump. It's, a, you know, it's gone even more than double, triple almost. So uh, more than triple also, in fact, uh, from 2000 to some 7000. So uh, 2,500 to uh, 7,000 per month. So that is why they protested and uh, water cannons were also used against them at this protest. It, and it comes at a time when uh, the Vice President Venkaya Naidu was actually in, uh, in, in the campus uh, uh, addressing a convocation ceremony. So uh, we'll, we'll wait and see what, how this story develops and whether the administration indeed meets with the students' union and you know, listens to them about their grievances, though they want this fee hike taken back at any cost. So those are the two uh, big stories right now on NDTV. Remember, do uh, log on to uh, youtube.com slash NDTV for all the latest videos and stories. And of course, do cast your vote for which news story you want to know the most about or want to know more about. Well, that's it from me for the moment. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.